So you've just watched the credits roll on It Takes Two and you immediately want more. We know the feeling. Here are the best games to load up next. Okay, here goes. Go! Ready, go! We could spend this entire introduction waxing lyrical about the many reasons that It Takes Two is a co-op joy. The characters, the world, their constant, ceaseless imagination. But let's concentrate on just one thing. You and your co-op friend mattered. Whether you were playing as Cody or May, your actions were necessary for progression. It literally takes two to move forward. Teamwork makes the dream work here, and that's why it's such a pleasure to play. The good news is that there are plenty more games just like this one. So grab your co-op partner, subscribe to Logitech G so we can always join you as an invisible, non-creepy extra friend. And let's swing through the games to play next. Oh, now what? First up on the list is the closest experience you can have to It Takes Two, and that's because A Way Out comes from the same development studio. Hazelight Studios' drama also demands you find a friend for online or couch play, and this time you're playing as Leo and Vincent, two men desperately trying to escape prison. A Way Out is much more of a movie-style experience than It Takes Two, and has a very different tone. Sorry, Book of Love you're not welcome here, but is constantly inventive when it comes to co-op storytelling. Whatever the game throws at you, you have to communicate and work together, and there's an emotional tale at work that will sneak deep under your skin. Just don't blame us when you're up all night trying to get through all six hours at once because you can't stop playing. With or without you, I'm going after him. If the original Unravel broke your heart, a good thing we can say about Unravel 2 is that at least you can dry your tears on someone else's knitwear. While it's possible to play with both Yarnies on your own, it's far more fun to hand off control to someone else and tie each other in knots as you try to get through some tricky puzzles. The challenging physics brain teasers of the original make a return here, and you'll need to work out ways to make the most of having two stringy heads instead of one. Once again, you'll be tying bows and bouncing on string trampolines, but now you can use each other to swing across the beautiful, dangerous levels. And yes, the death still hurt as much as the first game, but hey, at least this time there's a button so you can have a nice hug. Ah, not bad at all. There's now a whole series of We Were Here games, but we're flagging the first on the list because you can actually download and play it entirely free from Steam. It's a perfect way to find out if this is the style of co-op adventure for you. Unlike It Takes Two, We Were Here drops you and your friend in different unique rooms. We all need to solve puzzles in order to get closer to each other and finally escape the freezing castle in which you're trapped. The team at TMG Studios were influenced by real-life escape rooms, which means that everything you see can be a clue. Half the battle here is communicating properly, so make sure you're saying what you see or you might end up losing a friend instead of bonding over the challenges. Everybody, breathe. And let's go over this again. Now, for the next entry, it's probably best if you don't think too much about the biology of a double-ended dog. Instead, let fogs appeal to your whimsical nature as you and a friend traverse all manner of brightly coloured levels as red and blue, two delightfully good canines who just so happen to be attached in the middle. Just like it takes two, you'll need to work together to progress through the lands of food, play and sleep, stretching your strange body to the max for some puzzles, or grabbing onto handles to swing yourself around for others. And don't assume that this is a short adventure. Just like the journey of Cody and May, this is a surprisingly long experience that keeps reinventing itself in fresh ways. And you get to choose different fog hats. What's not to love? In movie terms, by the time you get to the fourth entry in a series, you know exactly what you're getting, and your main characters might now be in space to make things more entertaining, not Trine 4 The Nightmare Prince. As puzzle platformers go, it doesn't get much better than this 2.5D experience where you play as Amadeus the Wizard, Pontius the Knight, and Zoya the Thief on a quest to rescue a prince. Whether you're playing online or in a co-op multiplayer, making the most of everyone 
everyone's powers and abilities is a constant delight as you puzzle your way through unique levels. With the option for up to four players, the game scales up challenges effortlessly and things constantly feel fresh as you reach new areas with Zoya's arrows or make the most of Pontius's shield. Check out our Let's Play to find out why we can't get enough of Trine 4. I could get used to travelling in luxury like this. When you think about it, relationships usually have one person who has really hot feet and one person who likes to warm their icicle toes on those toasty extremities. It keeps things spicy. Well, imagine that, but instead of just feeling a bit chilly sometimes, your partner turns the world to ice wherever they go, while you make it summer and sunshine. It would make freezer shopping almost impossible, but this is Degrees of Separation, an ultra-satisfying fantasy co-op adventure. We take on the roles of Ember and Rhyme, a couple separated by their special abilities, but with the power to use them to their advantage to progress through the world. Just like Trine 4, there are plenty of side-scrolling puzzles to master, and what might seem simple on the surface really isn't. Good luck and stay frosty. And finally, let's swing into action with the satisfying delights of Heave Ho. Rather than just two, you can play with up to four players here and it's all about flinging yourself in an organised manner across perilous gaps. There's no need to worry about whether your friends have used antibacterial hand wash or not as you grab their paws to create chains. Every swing has to be perfectly timed to avoid spiky, explosive death which helpfully the game will always give you a distant, gory reminder of if someone happens to tumble off screen. You. With absurdly satisfying controls and even the odd dance number, Heave Ho is a perfect one more go co-op game that errs into party game territory. There's not quite the same heartfelt story as It Takes Two, but it's very easy to make your own heart in mouth moments. So those are some of the best games to play once you've finished It Takes Two. Let us know your favourite two-player co-op experiences in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to Logitech G for even more videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe, thank you! Remember to hit the notification bell so you know when anything new arrives on the channel. Oh, cool. <laughs> we got a flying nail and a talking hammer. <laughs> Let's go.